right I welcome to the Aura Pre-Alpha video demo. This is the uh, fifth milestone release of the Aura graphical user interface for FreeDOS. Uh, this video is just going to demonstrate how DOS Core is changing from a pre-built live DVD or USB to a network installer. So if we start off here with a fresh install of FreeDOS uh, and download the Get Aura app, we can install uh, the DOS Core development environment. Now over the years, uh, FreeDOS has come a long way uh, and it's a very network aware operating system nowadays. So we'll go into the hard disk here and as soon as it boots up, you're pretty much greeted with your network settings and you're ready to go. So we can actually download the uh, Aura Get uh, application from the DOS Core server using wget and uh, we'll do that now and it's going to download all the necessary files that we need to uh, set up the development environment which is just going to make things a lot easier for people who want to learn and who want to contribute or who just want to develop for the FreeDOS and Aura GUI and then that way people can experiment uh, with compiling applications and making changes and, and all that sort of stuff and now over the years um, we've had different milestones and this is the fifth generation of updates from the code that was derived from the Ozone uh, GUI back in 2007 and what makes this release so special is, is we've finally got uh, rudimentary HD audio support so that's AC97 codec related stuff and most sort of like Intel uh, ICH uh, 5 all the way up to 9 I think it is HD audio um, devices there's a couple of experimental SIS, Marvel, um, NVIDIA um, chipsets there that are working so that, that's, a, that's a huge step because it means that you can make programs that can utilize the HD Judas library which is uh, pretty cool and we've also fixed up a bunch of the uh, TCP issues we were facing so it used to lock up a bit and wasn't really working so those, those have been addressed in this release so we needed to get those programs um, or libraries working functioning properly before doing this uh, software development kit so that you guys can download um, the Aura GUI and start developing apps using the libraries and there's a couple of uh, basic applications that are bundled with um, the code um, that will allow you to access the HD audio hardware so there's a couple of examples there and then there's a couple of examples of accessing the internet um, libraries as well because it'll be really cool to see some net network applications like maybe an IRC chat or some kind of like app store thing, update store or you know just just another way for uh, FreeDOS users with a little bit higher end machines perhaps in the Pentium range um, to you know explore and play around with. So you're greeted here with the welcome screen and just for fun we bundled um, the Ozone desktop in this version as well um, just for nostalgic reasons and a lot of the Ozone apps were ported to the latest um, code the reason we don't use the old Ozone code is it's just too old it's, it's very old, it's 2004 I think so I mean that's almost 20 something years old or 18 years or something like that so we, we stuck with this but we bought a couple of apps that we didn't have in previous versions of Aura, so they're bundled in here. One of them is Ilkirch, or Ilkirch, Ilkirch, Ilkirch. Uh, <laughs> probably pronouncing that incredibly wrong, uh, which I believe is named after a French town. So that's the development environment that came with Ozone GUI, but it was incomplete. It was unable to generate code, and it was unable to do anything pretty much. It, it could run a few things th through the i widget, but it just couldn't actually save. You couldn't save anything. So in this version, we uh, strived to get that going, and you now have the ability to save. So if we open up some files here, uh, this is one that I was working on earlier, just as a bit of fun, 
Um, that's what it shows up as in the text editor. That's that's all the code it spits out. But if we go back to Il Kurdish and um, open that same file, you'll actually see here that it is a fully designed user interface, um, which the old version never did this. So as you see there, that's it now saves. So I'll open this up in iWidget and you can sort of play around with it. Now, this is essential to developing a user interface. Um, as it stands, this can give you all the coordinates and uh, you know axis and X, X, Y's and all that sort of stuff of uh, where all these dialog boxes are drawn and buttons and all that sort of stuff. So that helps, but it doesn't generate that code into any sort of C file or you know anything like that where it's got like these buttons and drawing stuff here and there. So that's the last part. So in this particular version, this is the pre-alpha. Uh, I'm going to put this out there today, just so people can play with it. Um, this is not a final product at all. Like it's buggy, it's dirty, it's messy. There's heaps of stuff wrong with it. Um, but at least you'll be able to get your hands on it and start playing with it. And you can see we can get some feedback uh, to see if it's a viable option or if it's working well or if the script's not right. So we'll pretty much uh, release this today. If you're watching this video, it's it's already on. All right, so let's go back into Il Cash um, and let's just let's slap together a little little app, just so you can see uh, some of the features that have been updated here. It is a really handy little app, but it would be really cool if it could uh, generate the C files for that program, just just to save time. I mean, it doesn't take long to type this stuff up either, but I mean, at the same time, here you could just put all your dialog boxes and text fields and whatever in there and then slap your functions uh, in the back end and then test it. So ideally, I'd like to be able to do that in the... I guess we'll call it alpha release uh, of M5. So there might be a few different releases in this. Um, this one is just a very dirty preliminary release. Just because I've had a few requests from uh, people on GitHub just saying, like, how do you use it? Because the source code for M5 has actually been on GitHub for a, a fair while. It's just I haven't had the time to compile a... Uh, live distribution CD like usually in the past we've sort of done it that way and because we have to bundle the free DOS source code and supply it on the website that's kind of a bit of a pain in the butt so that's why I sort of leaning more towards a Linux styled installation of network stuff um, which is I think is a direction free DOS should or perhaps just just an opinion of mine but should go uh, into more active development uh, environments and stuff like that to get people's content out there because there's heaps of cool uh, competitions like the Ludum Dare, Dare I think it's called and like the GUI blog uh, all those places have heaps of cool uh, open source bits of software or free uh, trial software and sharewares and stuff that I think if you make the platform for it uh, people will develop it, you know, it's that whole, uh, if you build it, they will come sort of thing, so It's taken a while to get to this point. It's, it's only a spare time project. Uh, Chase Finn uh, Was the main like programmer for a long time um, And he did some awesome work on the desktop and fixing up some apps and some of the TCP early TCP stuff um, so here is the menu editor. Now this didn't work or function properly uh, in the Ozone version of Elkirch. Um, we've updated that so it works now. And you can still test, you can test this through iWidget but you couldn't save it. There was some sort of issue there, I can't remember off the top of my head. But that, that's been remedied now. So essentially once, once you have a fully working uh, graphical uh, development environment and you've got your text editors here um, you can start programming and 
compiling and it's all there and if it's all there I think um, a lot more people will pick it up because a lot of the issues with compiling say the ozone code for example was is all these libraries and dependencies are so old and out of date um, unless you use that old library you know it, it wouldn't compile on new libraries you'd have to update all the code and, and that's essentially what Aura GUI was was everything was upgraded and migrated to the latest source code or libraries and dependencies um, so that's the main difference there is everything was up all the back-end stuff is all updated and user interface stuff has been slowly done over time and and all that sort of thing so the generate code thing eventually should spit out a standard C file with all the uh, coordinates and all that sort of stuff on there so let's go back here and we're gonna open up uh, in the O3 pad, uh, we're going to open up some of the source code for what should we do here? These will all be quick links too. You won't have to navigate. This will be on the left-hand column here. Um, let's open up the About app. I reckon we'll fix up these dates and uh, created timestamps and all that for files later. It used to work in Ozone, it's just a bit something wrong with the library there. So we'll open up uh, the About app. There you go. Very simple app. Just does some drawing and loads up some resources. So in a later video uh, I'll get into a bit more about how the resource management works in terms of loading images and stuff. We're actually going to migrate the um, skins and themes to a more compressed format to save on space. It doesn't really matter these days. Um, we've got plenty of space in terms of storage. So it's just a bit lazy for the time being. But um, let's make some changes. So I've already been in here mucking around uh, as you can see here. So we'll just add some changes here and then we'll compile it. And it's, it's really easy to compile because um, you just go back to the prompt and you pretty much just type build and it's going to build. So let's just make a small change here. And it's just really easy to compile apps for the Aura GUI this way for a lot of people. And, and not to mention, you don't just have to do um, Aura apps. The, this Delorean environment is set up ready for you to compile other Freedos stuff, or uh, I, I think they use Wacom, but I mean, you can still use uh, Delory to compile other software. So let's build it here. You can see the about file is compiling, it'll take a little bit of time. This is not bad considering it's only a virtual machine. I think on my Pentium, which is like a 166, uh, it runs pretty smoothly. I do. <laughs> I would say I prefer to run a more modern operating system just because uh, Ozone and Aura and stuff like that are very outdated. Um, but that's why we need to bring people. If you if we bring people to uh, Freedos to develop and show them how easy it is, uh, maybe it will get it'll get there. You know. And this uh, preliminary like pre-alpha release is, is more intended for people who do understand uh, Delory and, and compiling. So you, you will need some prior history. This isn't just like a, uh, a vending machine that spits out apps, if, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So um, you're going to need a, a bit of history and knowledge on uh, compiling stuff. But I'll, I'll help you out where I can. Uh, and just just bear in mind that this is a work in progress. Like this, I've slapped this together um, just so other developers that I work with or the team works with could just make it easier, you know. Um, and at least this way, we thought, well, we might as well just release it like this, and then everyone's on the same level. Um, but this will not be the final code. So today today's version is just enough for you to get in there and have a look around and you know, have, have a play. So we're back into the desktop now. And 
if we navigate to the X apps folder, there's our about app. Alright, we'll load that up. And so this uses all uh, resources. This turns images into resources in a compressed format, so that saves a lot of space. So you, you can make a little slideshow here if you want, uh, of a whole bunch of images. But you'll see here it pop up jumbled mess I've made of this application just for the sake of it. So while that's loading, um, in the next video we might go into some of the inner workings uh, of libraries and compiling and just a few other, a few other things. There it is, look at that, it's a big mess. And I'd love to bring a few more apps. So, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you found it interesting, share it, like, subscribe, um, download FreeDOS. It's an awesome, awesome operating system. Download Aura GUI. Give it a try today. Uh, compile an app. Send it to us. Have a laugh. Uh, thanks.